Hey all, Rusty Arbery TV, welcome! Check it out, we're on US Highway 2 westbound. Just left the little community of East Glacier Park, Montana. So we're going to cut down, we're actually going beneath uh, Glacier National Park. This is the only route that's open due to the pandemic. They have the entire eastern end of Glacier National Park closed down. Cannot enter the park. So we're just going to continue on US 2, taking the high line. I see a few mountains. Maybe we'll stop, we'll get pictures, we'll just make the best of it. I've always been told this is a very pretty drive, and I'm kind of looking forward to it actually. We're going to end up over near Kalispell, and then after this video, I'm going to take a break for a day or so and map out, uh, return back to Arizona. So, I want to stay up here in the cool weather as long as possible. <laughs> and no smoke. Look at the blue sky. We finally got out of the smoke from all the forest fires. What I'll do, I'll look for a pull out here. I need to reset the compass in the drone. Maybe we'll do a quick aerial. And then continue on. We only have less than 50 miles to get to West Glacier. The community of West Glacier. Hey, here's one. Stop here. Right up we go. Look at the train. Here you go. There's a shot of some mountains. Pine trees. We are at the very southern end of uh, Glacier National Park. A lot of miles up to the park. That's a pretty long train. Swing around. US 2 so far is a very nice road, but it's a very fast paced road, hard to film on. People like to get where they're going. Speed limit's 65, but they're doing a lot faster than that. But isn't this pretty? It's looking off towards the south. See a few high clouds. Swing back around, and that's looking back off to the east. All right, well, there's a quick look. Let's get landed, and we'll keep on trucking. Right away we go. There's a good little pit stop. About every 50, 60 miles you have to reset the compass in uh, drone. Keeps the bearing straight and helps control the GPS when you're flying. Alright, I'll 
I'll just keep the camera rolling, enjoy the views. I've seen a couple campgrounds. They look pretty primitive, no hookups. But I'm sure there are several through here. Probably lodges too. Looks like for the train there. There's a rest area off to the left. Pretty drive. We're kind of in a canyon here. Look at the water on the right. The trains are right, the train tracks right along the right, just on the other side of the water. I'll try to find a place to pull off. We'll take a little peek at it. Look how high the mountains are getting, all pine covered. I think I see a place up here on the left. Yep, this will work. Stop a minute. When I was parking the van, I could hear, I rolled down the way, I hear water running. There's like, uh, waterfall back here look at this hopefully the mic is picking this up the traffic noise is kind of drowning out the water Absolutely beautiful. Water's been coming down here for eons. Huh? <laughs> Look for nuggets. All right. Well, hey, want to take a look at it from the air? I don't know what we'll see. Sun's in the camera a little bit. Yeah, you can't see it through the trees. There's a little bit of it. Water comes down through there, mountain springs. Wow, look at this valley here. Rocky Mountains. Look at the snow covers for the train tracks. In case of avalanche, probably, huh?
Well, you got to see a waterfall right on US 2. Keep on ro going down the road. Well, it's not a national park, but I'll tell you what, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> this is a very pretty route so far. I've not been disappointed yet. Good road, too. Cell signal kind of drops out. You don't have much of a cell signal in here, but that's okay, too. What's the sign say? We got 30 miles left. We'll be out of this. was quite a drop down. Now we're going to start climbing. Look at that guy hiking. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? Here's a train bridge. Now we're climbing right back up this mile. Ooh, what's that? Wow. Hey, we're in the park. That sign said Glacier National Park. Huh. So we must be catching just a tiny bit of the park way at the lower end. Cool. Can't fly the drone now. Oh well. Alright, enjoy the ride. Welcome to Glacier National Park. I didn't know. It's a huge drop off off to the left. Bet they get snow by the feet here. Big tall pines. 
What we got up here? I see a sign. Picnic area. Walton picnic area. Oh, there's another sign. Leaving glacier. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I need to stretch my legs. Let's go for a walk. I'm not going to go back in there. Walton. It's a picnic area. Big bridge up here. Let's walk up to it. Feels good to get out and walk a little bit. Being in that van all the time. Driving. Yeah, this is one busy road. Alright. We're going to walk out of the National Park. We're leaving it right here. <laughs> See ya. What's this? River access. It says Metal Fort. Flathead River. Okay. I see fishermen way down there. That's the Flathead River. Let's walk back into the park. That just must have been just a tiny sliver of the southern end that we drove through. Alright, to the van we go. Let's drive across Flathead River. Just everywhere and anywhere you see the fishermen out. Good clean water in Mon Montana. All the streams, rivers. I bet they stock them too. There are a lot of fish hatcheries up here. like a lodge up here. Get supplies. A lot of camping through here. Very scenic. We're following right along the river. If I can find a place to pull off, we'll take a look from the air. We're out of the park now. This will work. Quite a ways down there. Flathead River.
Look at the size of that boulder. Tall trees. 95 feet. Wow, look at that sea of pine trees. They just go forever. Once again, if you get a chance, take this route. It's kind of a fast road, but there's tons of pull outs. In between East Glacier and uh, West, it's only lower 50 miles. Look how pretty the watercolor is against the green. Well, let's finish this thing. We're off to West Glacier. I'll probably look for a place to stay once I get past West Glacier, get close to Kalispell. And from there, take a little break and figure out what I want to do. Labor Day is not too far off. A few cabins and lodges through here. Campgrounds, RV parks. seen some rafters some uh, floating down rubber rafts got like 20 people in them Getting close, West Glacier, we're slowing down. Yep, there's the signs. Well, I am not going to go all the way into the park. I'll pull in West Glacier up here. We'll do a quick drive through. After my experience at Yellowstone, I do not want to fight crowds in a pandemic in these national parks. Personally, to me, it's not worth it. Look at that train station there. Isn't that neat? There'll be plenty of times to come back to it. Oop, here it is. West Glacier. Big visitor center on the right. Wow, look at all the people. All the motorcycles. There's just people everywhere. They're sitting outside. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in. I'm gonna turn around. Well, we got to see quite a bit coming across too. I'm not disappointed at all. 
that waterfall was just beautiful nice road fast paced but it's not that far really now we're getting close to Kalispell and then from here I'm not sure like I said I'm gonna take a day or so here get caught up on editing some of this video and figure out a game plan because right after Labor Day I want to start trekking south we're getting closer to good old Labor Day already unbelievable what a crazy year this is the virtual vacation of RVR TV 2020 the journey's gonna keep continuing we're not stopping yet okay talk soon